Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. May we invite you to join us in our prayers today. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the needs and intentions of the Greenbelt Chapel community, for all of us here present, and the members of our families, and also for those who have asked for our prayers, let us continue praying for all the victims of war, violence, and natural calamities. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, Grant that by the same Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thou, O Lord, will open my lips. And my tongue shall announce thy praise. Incline unto my aid, O God. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now contemplate on the glorious mysteries for the octave of Easter. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of Jesus. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his good health, safety, and protection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, Please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus to heaven. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of the church and the world, for wisdom and guidance for all church and government leaders, for their good governance and true conversion. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Let us offer this mystery for the complete healing and recovery of all who are sick and for those who care for them that they may find comfort and protection in their time of need. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. 
The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into heaven. Let us offer this mystery for all our personal needs and intentions and the needs and intentions of all the members of our families, relatives, loved ones, and friends, and for all those who have asked for our prayers, especially the intentions offered by the Greenbelt Chapel community. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please, Bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. Let us offer this mystery for all the souls in purgatory, especially the souls of our beloved dead relatives and friends, and those who died with no one to pray for them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs. Mourning and weeping in this valley of tears, turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided, Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Amen. O Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, most pure spouse of the Virgin Mary, Pray for us daily to the same Jesus, Son of God, 
that we, being defended by the power of His grace and striving faithfully in life, may be crowned by Him at the hour of death. Amen. Divine Child Jesus, Santo Nino de Paz, bless and protect us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Padre Pio Pietro Cina, pray for us. All the angels and saints, pray for us. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. A novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Please stand. Let us all kneel, chaplet of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, elevate me, water from the sides of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, O good Jesus, hear me, within your wounds, hide me, permit me not to be separated from you from the malignant enemy, defend me, in the hour of death, Call me. And bid me come to you that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Sacred heart of Jesus. I employ that I may love you more and more. Sacred heart of Jesus. I trust in you. 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 Sacred heart of Jesus. In you. Sacred heart of Jesus, I trust 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 in you. Sacred heart of Jesus, be my salvation. Sacred heart of Jesus, be my salvation. Sacred heart of Jesus, I trust in you. 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 Sacred heart of Jesus, be my salvation. Sacred heart of Jesus, I implore that I may love you more and more. Sacred heart of Jesus, I trust in you. 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 
Sacred Heart of Jesus. I trust in you. Sacred Heart of Jesus. Be my salvation. Sacred Heart of Jesus. I implore that I may love you more and more. Sacred Heart of Jesus. I trust in you. 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 Sacred Heart of Jesus. Be my salvation. Sacred Heart of Jesus. I implore that I may love you more and more. Sacred Heart of Jesus. I trust in you. 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 Sacred Heart of Jesus. Be my salvation. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at the very moment in all tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, Filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips, I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits, where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and your mercy? Where should I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weaknesses a reason for granting my prayer. O oh, sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this, my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire, may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother. You have entrusted me to her as her child, and her parents are all powerful with you. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Devotion to the Divine Mercy, Eighth Day, Chaplet of the Divine Mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty. Almighty 
creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and for, on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood. God, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, 
our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy, holy God, God holy, holy mighty one, one Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Novena to the Divine Mercy, eighth day. You expired, Jesus, but the, the source, source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelope the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Lord's words recorded by Sister Faustina. I desire that during these nine days, you bring souls to the fount of my mercy, that they may draw from there the strength and refreshment and whatever grace they have need of in the hardship of life and especially at the hour of death. On each day, you will bring to my heart a different group of souls and you will bring them in this ocean of my mercy. And I will bring all these souls into the house of my Father you will do this in this life and in the next. I will deny nothing to any soul whom you will bring to the fount of my mercy. On each day, you will beg my Father on the strength of my bitter passion for graces for these souls. Today, bring to me the souls who are detained in purgatory and immerse them in the amidst of my mercy. Let the torrents of my blood cool down their scorching flames. All these souls are greatly loved by me. They are making retribution to my justice. It is in your power to bring them relief. Draw all the indulgences from the treasury of my church and offer them on their behalf. Oh, if you only knew the torments they suffer, you would continually offer for them the alms of the Spirit and pay off their debt to my justice. Most, Most merciful Jesus, you yourself have said that you desire mercy, so I bring into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls in purgatory, souls who are very dear to you, and yet you must make retribution to your justice. May the streams of blood and water which gush forth from your heart put out the flames of purgatory that there too the power of your mercy may be celebrated. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the souls suffering in purgatory, who are enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. I beg you, by the powerful passion of Christ, as your Son, and by all the bitterness with which his most sacred soul was flooded, Manifest your mercy to the souls who are under your just scrutiny. 
look upon them in no other way but only through the wounds of Jesus, your dearly beloved Son. For we firmly believe that there is no limit to your goodness and compassion. Amen. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, and anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will, all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence, as your children, await your final coming, that they known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus, in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope, through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Regina Celli. Please stand. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear. Alleluia has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord has truly risen, Alleluia. O God, who gave joy, joy to the, the world through the, the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you very much. Good evening, brothers and sisters. To preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. Today is First Friday. You are invited to our Holy Hour after the 6 p.m. Mass. You are invited to join the praise and worship every Tuesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. With music, prayer, and thanksgiving, let us celebrate our faith and find hope in the Lord. You are invited to the liturgical Bible study of Father Francis Gustilo, SDB, every Wednesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. In partnership with the Assumption College counselors 
and Sister Ami Hernandez of Verbum Day Missionaries, Greenbelt Chapel, is offering free counseling for individuals, couples, and families. You may schedule an appointment through the chapel office or call 7729-8173. The book, It's All About Relationships, by our chaplain, Father Dave Concepcion, is now available again at the chapel office. After post-communion prayer, we will have a second collection for our Lava Parish program, which helps 476 parishes and charitable institutions all over the country. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is Friday in the octave, octave of Easter and Holy Hour, April 5, 2024. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Please stand and let us sing our, hymn, our entrance hymn. Jesus Christ is risen today, our triumphant holy day, who did once upon the cross, suffer to redeem our loss. He is risen just as he said, he said he would rise, he's risen today. Sing Alleluia, Alleluia, lift your voices in praise, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my in thoughts and my words, in, in what, what I have done, in what, what I have failed to do. To do. Through, through my fault, fault through, through my fault, fault through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for, for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in deeds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you, healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else. There is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's son, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore. But the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciples whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you have caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and came and gave it to them. And in like manner the fish, this was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading asked us, will you believe because you were healed? Will you believe because you were healed? Will you believe because something great happened? What could be the reason of unbelieving? Bakit hindi ka naniniwala? O ano ang dahilan ng iyong paniniwala? Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. Nagsisimulang maniwala ang mga tao dahil sa milagro na ginagawa nila Pedro. Kung saan, bago mamatay si Jesus, sinabi na niya kay Pedro, you will, do, you will do greater things than what I have done. That's why he was being summoned. In what way you are doing this? In what power? you are doing this. And he simply said, in the name of Jesus, the one you crucified. What is more important? Resurrection or healing? What is more important? Resurrection or healing? Somebody said, Jesus died because he is human. He, is, he resurrected because he is God. And that is very true. Jesus died because He is human and He resurrected because He is God. We cannot resurrect by ourselves, only by the power of God. He resurrected and the proof of His resurrection for the past several days was given to us through the gospel, not just in an empty tomb, he was seen by his disciples. He was able to touch them. He ate with them. Now, he, has, he was having breakfast with his, with his disciples. The same thing the first time 
Jesus revealed himself to Peter after preaching, after sitting in his boat, and he said to Peter, Go a little further, duk in altum. Ano sabi ni Pedro? We fish all night, we caught nothing. But if you say, Lord, they drop their net. The same story today. The same story. Do you, you caught nothing, then throw your nets to the right. And they caught more fish than they can imagine. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, I have said before, you can only connect the dots after it happened. You can only connect the dot after it happens. And the other disciple said, it is the Lord because it was the same event that has been happening again. Reminding them. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, but what would like what I would like to focus on? Remember this. When you give yourself to God, there is no assurance that life will become pleasant. That life will become pleasant. Minsan, nagtaksi ako. Nagtaksi ako. At hindi ko alam kung bakit napag-usapan namin yung El Shaddai. Ano? Napag-usapan namin. At sabi ng ano, nagpupunta ho ako dyan dati. Sabi kay ba't hindi ka na nagpupunta ngayon? Hindi naman ako yumaman. Sabi kay, bakit po niyo sinabing yayamang kayo? Ay, sabi niya, balikta rin mo ang payong. Binabaliktad ko, wala naman. Diba? Panay ang bili ko ng itlog, wala naman. Panay ang bili ko ng panyo, wala naman. Ano ibig ko sabihin? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, if you are among those who give because you believe it will be returned to you a hundred times, please listen. If you are those among who give because you believe it will be given back to you a hundred times, then you are not giving. You are not giving. Hindi ka nagbibigay, nagninegosyo ka. Inuulit ko, kung ikaw ay nagbibigay, dahil lang na iniisip mo, ibabalik naman ito sa iyo ng Diyos, siksik, liglig, o maapaw, 100 times, hindi ka talaga nagbibigay, nagninegosyo ka. Hindi ka talaga naniniwala sa Diyos, naniniwala ka sa pakinabang. Ang tawag doon, pakinabang. Kaya magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. If you come before God in prayer because you feel good while praying, then the saints would say, Teresa of Avila have said this, then you are not praying to God. You are praying to yourself. Because you only seek consolation. Now going back to what I've said, if you believe because you were healed, my dear friends, that was not the reason why Jesus came. You will always have the poor with you. You will always have the sick with you. We will always be sick when we grow old. What's wrong? When Peter said, let us go fishing, because he was a fisherman. He was a fisherman. But what's wrong with that? God said, from now on, you will become fishers of men. Why return to the old trade when I have called you from where you are to where you are to be? Where you are supposed to be. Pagkamisan, pag humihirap ang buhay, nakakalimutan natin ng Diyos. Totoong-totoo yun. Bakit? Dati naman ako may trabaho, sumasahod ako ng maayos, 
bago ako pumasok sa seminaryo, ang pinakamababang perma ko noon, 500 pesos sa plano. Pero na-assign ako sa isang parokya ko saan ang unang collection ko, 1850. Manila ito, 1999. Anong mabibili mo sa 1850? Tatlong beses ko talagang binilang yon 1850 talaga eh. 1850. Lumuha talaga ako. Naawa ako sa sarili ko. At tinanong ko, Lord, ito ba ang kapalit sa iniwang ko? Sa isang parokyang walang kama, butasan dingding, ni walang toilet seat. Ano ano kakainin kong breakfast sa 1850? Hindi masamang magtanong. Nagtatanong lang naman, di ba? Hindi masamang magtanong. Kinatulugan ko ang aking kalungkutan. At, bigla kong inisip, pwede naman akong pumerma uli ng plano. Bakit hindi? Mechanical engineer naman ako. Lisensyado ako. Hindi naman kasalanan yon, Hindi naman illegal yon. Pero ano sabi ng Diyos? Kinuha na kita dyan. Iba ka na ngayon. Anong hinihingi ng Diyos? Anong hinihingi ng Diyos? When things are getting bad, it is the time to pray more. When things are getting bad, it is the time to trust more. Because faith, if not tested, is not really faith. Faith, if not tested, is not really faith. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, we have a God who suffered. This is not a God of convenience. This is not a God of convenience. My dear friends, when you complain, complain. You are not, you are not prevented from complaining. Complain. But it is always put into question, where is your heart? Where is your heart? Mahirap yung sumusunod ka lang dahil gumaga ng buhay. Sabi nga ng isa, Alam mo, Father, no sumunod ako sa Diyos, gumaan ang buhay ko. No sumunod ako sa Diyos, nawala ang mga problema ko. No sumunod ako sa Diyos, sumagaan ang buhay ko. Ano sabi ko sa kanya? Sino ang Diyos yan? Masundan nga. Hindi ba? Kasi mukhang hindi yan ang Diyos na sinusundan ko. Napatawa siya. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, Ano sabi ng isang manunulat? When doors are open, you check. When doors are open, you check. Because Satan can open a door for you and bless and give what you want. But at the end, you will end where you do not want to be. Hindi lahat na nagbibigay, tama. Again, from the first reading, why do you believe? Is it because your prayer are answered? Ano sabi sa first reading? It was simply stated, there is no salvation apart from Jesus. There is no salvation apart from Jesus. Don't believe in what you receive. Believe in the one who gives. Amen. Let us all rise and bring to God our prayers and petitions. Our Lord Jesus Christ stays with us to guide the work of His church and to be with us in all our struggles and trials. Let us pray to Him with complete trust and every petition that the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the whole church may be renewed by the grace of Easter, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that the peace which the risen Lord brought to his apostles be given to the people of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may help the needy and feed them in body and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive comfort and hope from those who assist them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have gone before us may be welcomed to the shore of eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us also bring to God our own personal prayers and petitions. Tell Him your struggle. Tell Him your problems. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, you restore us to yourself through the resurrection of your Son. Hear our prayers and strengthen us in giving witness to our Easter faith. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all, His holy church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray the solemn exchange brought about by these Paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing and put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Padre Pio, Petrochina, and all the saints of Lishu throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us, us not into temptation, but, but deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families. 
peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the resurrection and the life, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. Also, please consume the host immediately after receiving them in front of the minister.
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio of Petrochina. Please all kneel. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force to sustain me the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly be seated for a moment. Every first weekend of the month, we have a second collection for our Laba Parish program that we in support of our works of charity and truth for our 476 poor parishes and other beneficiaries like Caritas Manila, Missionaries of Charity of Mother Teresa, Little Sisters of the Poor, Missionaries of the Poor, Tulay ng Kabataan, Radio Veritas, Tibe Maria, so on and so forth. We are also helping contemplatives like the poor Clares and Carmelites and other religious congregations all over the country who are praying for our intentions. 
Thank you very much for your valuable support in their behalf. Every amount you give goes a long way. May God return it to you a hundredfold. Salamat po. Bago lang ang final blessing, kasi merong nagtatanong, Father, sinabi mo kahapon, in the resurrection, we will have body, uh, we have body and bones, flesh and bones. Kasi yun ang sabi ng Diyos, touch me, touch me. I have flesh and bones, and He even eat eat with his disciples. Paano po yung mga cremated? Paano po yung mga cremated? Ang sagot ay di ko alam. Ano po? How I wish I know. But of course, there is nothing impossible before God. Ang aking lang paalala, yung mga nagpapakremate, huwag kayong kuha ng kuha ng abo ng kayong kamag-anak. Ano po? nilalagay sa pendan, nilalagay sa kung saan, hinahati-hati, ano po, yan ang huwag niyong gawin. Kasi baka sa muling pagkabuhay, wala silang tenga, ilong, mata, bakit? Nasa pendan ninyo. Ano po? Ang, maha, ang malungkot doon, hinati niyo ang hinati niyo ang abo, pinaghati-hatihan ninyo, kasi nasa stage yung iba. Baka yan ay sa muling pagkabuhay, manananggal yan. Ano po? Walang paa. Ha? Ah. Palagi ko po yan sinasabi. Respect the dead. Respect the remains. Ano pa? So I hope I was able to answer the question. Take note, my brothers and sisters. When Jesus asked for the fish, He was not interested with it because He has a fish with Himself. Ano ibig ko sabihin? Hindi interesado ang Diyos sa inyong mayahandog. Interesado ang Diyos sa inyong mga kalooban. I repeat, God is not interested with what you can offer. God is not interested with what you can give because God has nothing in need. He is interested with your heart. Hindi nabibili ang Diyos, hindi nasusuhulan ang Diyos. 
Kaya nga po, kung ikaw ay tinatawag ng Diyos, hindi dahil meron ka may bibigay sa Diyos, kundi dahil may gustong ibigay ang Diyos sa iyo. Please rise. We will not have a recessional song after the final blessing. What we will have is the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you in your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all kneel. Sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving every moment thine. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. O Christ, in all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ, for the love which you bear for men, you remain night and day in this sacrament full of compassion and of love, awaiting, calling, and welcoming all who come to visit you. We believe that you are present in the sacrament of the altar. We adore you from the abyss of our nothingness, and we thank you for all the graces which you have bestowed upon us in particular, for having given us yourself in this sacrament and for having called us to visit you in this chapel. Dear Lord, as we contemplate on the mystery of your resurrection from the dead, pour forth your Holy Spirit on each one of us. Help us to bring out clearly this mystery, which is at every very heart of our faith so that we in turn 
can pass on these revealed truths and its implications in our lives and the lives of others. Lord Jesus, here we are in your presence, looking at you and looking for you, longing for you to look at us with your compassionate, understanding eyes. Do not let us shy away from your gaze. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us sinners. Please stand. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Now, when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven, seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and weep. But when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they would not believe it. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them as they were walking into the country. And they went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them. Afterwards, he appeared to the eleven themselves as they sat at table. He unbraided them for their unbelief and hardness of heart because they had not yet believed those who saw him after he had risen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The mystery of Christ's resurrection is a real event with manifestations that were historically verified as the New Testament bears witness. In about AD 56, St. Paul could already write to the Corinthians, I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. The apostle speaks here of the living tradition of the resurrection, which he had learned after his conversion at the gates of Damascus. Mary Magdalene and the holy women who came to finish anointing the body of Jesus, which had been buried in haste because the Sabbath began on the evening of Good Friday, were the first to encounter the risen one. Thus, the women were the first messengers of Christ's resurrection for the apostles themselves. They were the next to whom Jesus appears. First Peter, then the twelve. Peter had been called to strengthen the faith of his brothers, and so sees the risen one before them. It is on the basis of his testimony that the community exclaims, The Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. Everything that happened during those Paschal days involves each of the apostles, and Peter in particular, in the building of the new era begun on Easter morning. As witnesses of the risen one, they remain the foundation stones of his church. The faith of the first community of the of believers is based on the witness of concrete men known to the Christians and for the most part still living among them. Peter and the Twelve are the primary witnesses to his resurrection. 
but they are not the only ones. Paul speaks clearly of more than 500 persons to whom Jesus appeared on a single occasion, and also of James and of all the apostles. Given all these testimonies, Christ's resurrection cannot be interpreted as something outside the physical order, and it is impossible not to acknowledge it as a historical fact. It is clear from the facts that the disciples' faith was drastically put to the test by their master's passion and death on the cross. which he had foretold. The shock provoked by the passion was so great that at least some of the disciples did not at once believe in the news of the resurrection. Far from showing us a community seized by a mystical exaltation, the Gospels present us with disciples demoralized and frightened, for they had not believed the holy women returning from the tomb and had regarded their words as an idle tale. When Jesus reveals himself to the eleven on Easter evening, he upbraided them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had risen. Even when faced with the reality of the risen Jesus, the disciples are still doubtful so impossible did the thing seem, they thought they were seeing a ghost. In their joy, they were still disbelieving and still wondering. Thomas will also experience the test of doubt, and St. Matthew relates that during the risen Lord's last appearance in Galilee, some doubted. Therefore, the hypothesis that the resurrection was produced by the apostles' faith will not hold up. On the contrary, their faith in the resurrection was born under the action of divine grace from their direct experience of the reality of the risen Jesus.
please kneel. Prayer. My resurrected Lord, your sacred body and soul are forever united as one in a new and glorified state. You now invite all of us to share in your suffering and death in this life so that we can share in your resurrection. Please fill my mind with understanding of this gift in order to fill me with hope so that I will work tirelessly for that day on which I hope to share in your resurrection. Jesus, I trust in you. A reading according to St. Luke. Please stand. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices which they had prepared, and they found a stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, Behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel, and as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and on the third day rise. And they, they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. That very day, two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them, and he said to them, O foolish men, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken, was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Then he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Please be seated. Reflection. Christ's resurrection is the fulfillment of the promises 
both of the Old Testament and of Jesus himself during his earthly life. The phrase, in accordance with the scriptures, indicates that Christ's resurrection fulfilled these predictions. The truth of Jesus' divinity is confirmed by his resurrection. He had said, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he. The resurrection of the crucified one shows that he was truly I am, the Son of God and God himself. So St. Paul could declare to the Jews what God promised to the fathers. This he has fulfilled to us, their children, by raising Jesus, as also it is written in the second Psalm, you are my son, today I have begotten you. Christ's resurrection is closely linked to the incarnation of God's Son and is its fulfillment in accordance with God's eternal plan. Christ provided us with a means that only God, become man, could give us to conquer sin in our own lives and to finally conquer even bodily death by our own resurrection from the dead on the last day. The Paschal mystery has two aspects. By his death, Christ liberates us from sin. By his resurrection, he opens for us the way to a new life. This new life is above all justification that reinstates us in God's grace, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. Justification consists in both victory over the death caused by sin and a new participation in grace. It brings about filial adoption so that men become Christ's brethren, as Jesus himself called his disciples after his resurrection, go and tell my brethren. We are brethren not by nature, but by the gift of grace, because that adopted filiation gains us a real share in the life of the only Son, which was fully revealed in his resurrection. Just as Christ is truly risen from the dead and now lives forever, so he himself will raise everyone on the last day with an incorruptible body. Those who have done good will rise to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation.
Oh, so-